In the past week, hundreds of videos about Mr. Beast have been created, mostly because of his former team member Chris Tyson. But while most of it were about Chris Tyson in particular, now Mr. Beast is being exposed himself by an ex-employee that apparently worked for Mr. Beast. So it's safe to say that Mr. Beast is being cancelled right now. Now if you haven't watched that video but you're curious to know what are the claims and what happened, in short, here it is. He's being accused of faking his videos and challenges using CGI elements and scripted outcomes, even spontaneous giveaways and challenges are said to be rigged and pre-planned, lying and manipulating his audience, employee misconduct and toxic work environment and apparently hosting illegal lotteries. So there's a lot to unpack here but don't worry because this video is not going to last an hour, we go straight to the point and fast. I know that some of you have short attention spans so I got you bros. So basically this dude who made this video worked for Mr. Beast. Now let's take it a bit slower here and first of all we have the faking videos claim. By the way I'm going to try to speed up all the video bits to keep the fast pace I promised. Also if, if what we had to film was scripted you know, because what we do is not scripted, so you have to plan for a bunch of variables that you can't control, blah, blah. If what we did was scripted, holy shit, this stuff would be easy to pump out. Have you ever faked a video? No. But this train track is CGI, these bus wheels are CGI, this explosion is fake, this shredder is CGI, this car is digitally lifted, this pit is fake, this guy is fake, uh, this raccoon is a paid actor, sure, this island costs more than a dollar, this city is not abandoned, these buildings are CGI, and that's your only way out. You can literally get an Uber to the airport for $20. That's not a lurker. It's just a guy. This whole room is fake. This contestant is an actor and a secret employee at Mr. Beast. Stand out through this fake door twice. This line is scripted. This action is scripted. In fact, pretty much all the videos with Mac are scripted. So guys, if I'm honest, I never actually believed his videos weren't scripted. I mean, I make videos myself and I'm definitely aware of some things that normal viewers might not be. But let's put it this way. So you got a crazy video idea, something big like making a crazy squid game challenge in real life but kids friendly of course. Now that's probably gonna cost a few million dollars at least or even more to do. Also some of the stunts and things might cost money to even shoot once. So each time doing that stunt or whatever it costs money. And more so with explosions and crazy things like staying in a 1 million dollar hotel and so on. Now imagine that thing is not scripted and the guy just do it wrong or it turns up not entertaining and it's a bad video. That will mean he will have to reshoot that and spend another 1 million dollars, 2 million dollars, whatever until it's right. But the problem is that he doesn't even know what right is. So big projects like this made extremely entertaining cannot be done without proper scripting in place or without having like trillions of dollars maybe. So I get that this is kind of like finding out that wrestling is fake but it's kind of how the world works. Mr. Beast runs an entertainment business so it wouldn't really work if everything was just entirely random. I believe there's no YouTuber or entertainment show at this level who doesn't script their videos. During this time lapse on the fourth day of seven days stranded at sea, you can clearly see there's no one in the shelter. These are their empty beds. But after a hard cut, magically five people are awake and two of the boys have bright yellow raincoats that they didn't have when it rained on day two. And after standing the whole night completely soaked, you didn't spend the night soaked, Jimmy, you slept on the production yacht. It's ironic because this is one of the videos where they claim that they don't fake things. But no, we have to be the real channel that doesn't Honestly, yeah, it's really not cool to claim so much that you don't fake something if you actually fake it. I mean, it's pretty obvious 90% of YouTubers will probably fake that. I mean, I'm pretty sure all survivor shows and documentaries on TV are pretty much fake too, but yeah, it, it is what it is. So yeah, that's that with the faking. Honestly, for me, it doesn't come as a big surprise, so it's really not that deep. It's entertainment. Mr. Beast is not really the only one doing stuff like this. But the only bad thing though that I'm not that happy with, I guess, is claiming so hard that they are not fake. Now next, there are a lot of things regarding Mr. Beast giveaways and lottery practices, and this dude, the former employee, uh, claims is not really entirely legal, which I don't really want to get too much into it because I really like my channel and I don't like being sued. So I think you can watch that part yourself. Here's a clip of Tyler for forging, or not, maybe not forging, using Mr. Beast's signature. So Tyler signs MB, which is Mr. Beast's signature, then he covers it, signs his own initials, TC, smirks, looks around, and then quickly slides the shirt away. Could you make it any more obvious? He also shows a clip with a member of Mr. Beast's team basically using Mr. Beast's signature. Now maybe that's the company's signature, logo, whatever, and the team is allowed to do it, but I don't know, really, I, I don't know. Now there are also some claims about Mr. Beast changing the Feastables formula, which made Feastables less healthy than the Hershey's, but still running the ads where it's saying that it's more healthy. In 2024, Mr. Beast changed the formula again to where it has mostly the same ingredients as Hershey's and even more sugar and more calories per bar. 
And this initial ad for Feastables where he calls it healthy is still getting millions of views a month. And lastly, there are some claims that Mr. Beast basically does charity and all of this stuff for content, which I'm not entirely sure to be honest. Personally, I'm not perceiving Mr. Beast as that kind of guy. I personally do believe he's not a bad dude. He probably really enjoys helping people too. There's also a point to consider that basically what he does, it's a business. And in order to be able to keep giving away money, you should continue to make money because otherwise he wouldn't be able to sustain this whole thing for very long. So he obviously have to make content about it which is, as long as people are being helped and good things are being done in the world it's ultimately a win-win so that's my opinion drop yours in the comments and don't forget to subscribe i'm serious don't forget to subscribe